Let's boost it. Let's boost it. I like it, but we got to do some some changes. Upstart Goblin, and it's going to be very simple chant. I think it's just upstart in uh, one day of peace. So this will give us guaranteed protection for a turn because we're still a mill deck. We're not actually winning with Invoked if you thought that's what we were doing. And maybe Chicken Game. I could take out a uh, Magical Meltdown for a Terraforming. Makes sense. Makes sense. There we go. There we go. Uh, Magical Meltdown is kind of a brick, yeah. There can only be one winner. And you're looking at it. Let's go. What is this, mate? Terraforming. We terraforming for... He thinks we're grabbing a runic. Now, Makaba... Can it negate and banish the mist, the, I say mist rune, but it is runic. Mon spell trap or monster effects activated. So we can't negate an already face up field spell. That's not cool. That's totally not cool. We'll get magical meltdowning. But we can negate the quick effects from the hand. Meltdown. Hugging only protects the runic cards, right? If another card you control would be destroyed. No, Hagen protects that. Wow. What the? What the? Hagen summon discard slumber. Hagen is broken. Hagen stops Harpy Feather Duster. Tip. Okay. Okay. I, he's hoping that he banishes all three of my Alistair invokers. Could someone run the math on that? He's going to banish five six seven cards wait he could also banish two invocations oh god wait no destruction has to destroy to banish so it doesn't even banish actually it has to destroy huggin will stop the destroy it doesn't banish oh got him got him yup uh banishing invocation <laughs> banishing invocation i have two invocations yeah i have two invocations Here, it's banish three maybe this makes the deck more exciting my, none of my invocations are banished. We're good. We're good. We are good. Get invoking. Negate. Can we stop negate? Holy shite. Holy shite. Is our deck better than pure in the mirror match? We didn't lose invocation. Okay, we didn't lose invocation. We get upstart goblin into invocation. We'll draw into it. I have 23 cards in the deck. 23, 23. Oh, chicken game. Okay, chicken could draw into it. I should runic tip to increase my chance to draw into it. Hugging? Let's hug him. Get hugging, get hugging. Maybe we should destroy that. This is interesting. I mean, this has contributed so many banishes at this point. I think that does win the mirror match, actually. I think we have to kill that. We actually have to kill that. And maybe chicken game trying to draw on our own field spell would be better than using Huggin. Holy crap. I need destruction to trigger my my field spell. I need it, I need it. I guess we'll destroy it. Holy shite. We have 11 cards banished. He has one. Upstart Goblin gone. Okay. All right, we destroy it. We have to actually destroy it. Destroy, <laughs> get that nonsense out of here, mate. Get that nonsense out of here. Runic Fountain. We're gonna return the destruction, tip and slumber. Draw an invocation, please. Come on, come on, man. Come on, come on. Come on, where is it? Come on, yes, <laughs> I knew it. Didn't even doubt it for a second. Now we negating. Makaba is here. Woo, he's got wheels, damn. I have to chain to destruction. Maybe he'll use it early. I'm in a bad spot. I don't have a spell to negate, but then if I did have a negate, he could negate my negate. So this is actually an insane mind game. This will trigger his runic found to draw two. Slumber, trigger. If he triggers, I activate 
but then he'll draw into destruction. I think I have to just YOLO. If this goes through, then we're in a good spot. I need this to go through. If it doesn't go through, we're gonna probably lose. I, I need this to go through. It's a big risk. We chains destruction. <sighs> it's still chain destruction to the field spell though. Oh, he's playing invoked also. There you go. Uh, discussion over. Invoked, Runic's the best deck. <laughs> it's the, there you go. He's got it too. Come on, give me the good stuff. And he probably thinks that Macabre can negate the Runic Fountain, which it can't. So, yeah. He doesn't know how his own deck works. Our only play, unless he's playing around Ash. Think I'm playing Ash? You think I'm playing Ash? Probably not, right? Okay, we have Pop, Special Summon. We got plays. We got Negates. What is worth negating? Do I, do I have to negate the Runic Allure? I think we chain Destruction on the Allure. It's actually bait. God, I think we're going to negate because we're kind of desperate. I'm going to get rid of the Smiting. Flashfire. Okay. Negates, but then he can negate us. And then we're expending resources. Droplet. Interesting. Drop the lit. Okay. I could chain invoker to then chain destruction onto the thing that's going to be milling a ton of cards off of us. Destruction, destroy, destroy. We could have storm summon Huggin if we wanted to, but I, I don't think it's destruction on his turn and ours. I get double Makaba. Does he have a light monster in his graveyard? He does not. Tip, 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 tip. Add a runic card. Banish that. If he has destruction, I wish I had more spells in my hand. Jesus. Jesus. I guess I should have summoned Invoker to search Invocation. That's what I should have done. This will not trigger his Runic Fountain now. His Runic Fountain, it will not be triggered. But he's got another quick play, so it, he will trigger it on something else. And now I can't trigger my Fountain. I, I need to summon Invoker, search Invocation. I had to discard Invocation, actually. Yeah, if I discard Invocation here... It would have been very good. And if you chain to your Runic Fallon activation, you don't get to trigger it. So if he destroys on the activation and you chain summon Huggin, it does not trigger it. Nine cards in my deck. And he triggered it. I think that kills us. He's only got two. Only two? I thought there was more than two. Yeah, I think it's ripped because I, I had to uh, shotgun the invoker. Maybe if we set up... Maybe if we focus on Makaba and Destruction, the fact that we have a Makaba and he doesn't, instead of trying to set up our own Runic Fountain, it's difficult. It's a whole different game. Target to negate, I guess I banish you. I have to negate that. I have to negate. That won't trigger the Runic Fountain, but he probably has more Runics in the hand. He's got more non-runic cards than I do, but his hand's been full of runics the whole time. And by banishing, it's not in the graveyard, so that's minus one draw for Runic Fountain. He needs three runic cards to even... He might Gary swing in, actually. Uh, he can't. Battle phase gone. Keck W. Flash fire. Destroy. Makaba. Makaba down. Six cards in my deck. He's drawing just one, so this is actually getting wild. This is getting wild. This is getting crazy. Wait, you're boosting? Did you do that by accident? What does that accomplish? You have invocation in your hand. That was for nothing. Did he literally accidentally do that? Invocation add back. Dude's running low on juice. He's running low on juice. That's actually nuts. Do I have another invocation in the deck? Max C. Wow. You think I should have Dugaris drew two? Maybe I actually should have done that. Draw to trigger Fallon. You're right. You're right. But 
We're getting messed up. We're getting messed up. Uh, my Makaba and his Invoke. We could still draw two. We could still draw two. We could still draw two. We didn't pass up on it. We didn't pass up on it. 1,200. Free resource. Use his Invoker. He's under. He's getting us the max C. Draw two. Come on. Come on. Trigger, please. Slumber. Slumber. Discard a card from the hand. Slumber. I'm going to have to discard the Invocation. Maybe the Slumber. Slumber. Just activate Slumber. Uh-oh. He's got something. Uh, dispelling. I think I have to negate. Discard invocation. And we're going to draw three. Okay. Okay. I, he didn't light up again. He's That's banish. That's a banish. I think invoked uh, runic, you have to play it. Be only because Makaba banishes. If Makaba did not banish, then it would be different. Do I have Gary uh, field spell in the graveyard? Feel, okay. Uh, Gary add field spell. I only have three cards left in my deck. <laughs> I think we deck out. We deck out. I mean, there's so much stuff to manage. Can I choose to not draw? Wait, we're not going to deck out yet, but uh, soon we will. But we're going to deck out probably now. Uh, I guess he doesn't have runic cards in his hand, so maybe we don't deck out. We skipped our draw phase, actually. Holy crap. Runic Allure. Freezing. Runic Destruction. Freezing. Uh, we'll banish him up. Banish him up. I have three cards. Banish. And we'll use Destruction uh, next turn. And then, uh, okay, yeah, we'll use Destruction. I, I didn't enter Battle Phase, but I'm not entering the Battle Phase next turn anyway. He's got 10 cards. We have to negate. We have to negate. He should only have one Runic card. Unless he has the same runic card that he activated last turn. He didn't have anything activatable. I have to discard runic fountain. I think we actually win. I have three cards in my deck. Three cards in my deck. Invoke with no activation. Where's your invocations? Holy shite. A goatees? A goatees. Target a monster point controls, destroy it. Okay. I have to Macabre to gate a spell. Nope. Nothing, nothing. Oh crap, I don't have time. I don't have time to trigger my field spell. I don't have any more trigger effects, right? No! <laughs> Gia? That's gonna be a duel to really practice. That's a lot. You gotta manage negate, negate, banish, manage cards in your deck. The runic continuous spell is broken. We made a lot of mistakes under pressure, under time, and the first time doing that type of mirror match. Holy shite. Let's check out his D. Let's check it out. Our D is definitely better. We got the better D. Are you ready? I think, oh my, oh my. Is reasoning really worth it to mill your, just to mill your graveyard? I mean, invoker does not trigger on special summon. This is normal or flip face up only. So you're literally just milling, but milling could be good because you summon Gary instead of Huggin, so it's good for card advantage. It's really interesting. Because we were going through, I, I played three Reasoning, three Monster Gate with my Cyber Valley build. So this is going to be a really interesting discussion because the Reasoning and Monster Gate are limited to one in TCG. They don't have this option. We have more options of what to do. So here's my D. Copy my D. Copy the D. Oh, we're going to be banishing five. <laughs> Where's your Link? Are you serious? You don't play an Anima? What are you doing? What are you doing? 
Runic. Smite. Smite for five. Five. <laughs> five cards. Holy moly. Look how much he hates my deck. He's got anti-spell. He's got eradicator. He's got a fat deck also. This is hilarious. He is pissed. He built his deck to beat mine, and we're still going to win. That's what's disgusting about this deck. I summon Invoker, we're going to be vulnerable. Okay, Runic Dispelling cannot be activated yet. We're going to gain life. Keep on gaining. Is this worth it? Is this worth it? Are we playing into a big fat trap? Are we getting debated? I need to make room to use Dispelling. I have no traps to negate traps. Okay. That's fine. I could negate that. Negate! Moonin was better. Moonin better. That negates him from sending, actually. Now he can't even send from the deck to the graveyard. That's a straight up negate. Does it negate activation or effect? Probably effect. Negate the activation. He can't even summon Lord of Heavenly Prison off of that. Can you believe that? What the hell? That was dirty. That was some dirty, dirty, dirty. He done dirty. And I think we summon Kaliga here. <laughs> oh gosh, this is, I feel so dirty, but I love it. I love it. Who likes feeling dirty with Runic? Now this makes it so you can only activate one monster effect and only one attack per turn. Holy crap. Makaba and Kaliga, that's it. Each player can only activate one monster effect and only one attack and I got negates. You're done, mate. You're done. I could Runic Slumber, protect it from being destroyed by battle or card effect. And then, Allure, Banish. <laughs> His deck is built to beat mine. Let's look at that deck. This is nasty. It's a 54 card deck. That inherently is that large to deal with us, so he does not get milled out as easily had no effect two anti-spell fragrance that's uh we'll count just uh yeah that's three that's three and then four five six that's six cards to stop us and uh six seven eight eight with the lancias mate yeah he's got eight cards just to stop us i don't even know what the fair welcome labyrinth does what the hell is this labyrinth setup damn I mean, this uh, runic, runic is dirty. We are dirty. We are so dirty.